All right, you guys, welcome back to the YouTube Barber Academy. Uh, we got like a slick back kind of style for you guys today. He gets a skin fade, and uh, yeah, man, we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. So we're gonna keep the flow going back, right, David? And then we're gonna bring the skin fade like kind of high, mid mid to high, and uh, yeah, he's gonna look a lot different. So let's get started. I got the number two on in the closed position. Uh, this is the Gamma Rebel, my favorite clipper uh, at the moment. And we're gonna just get rid of some of this ball. So all I'm looking to do is come up to the parietal ridge and just kind of flick out. X-Pro with the new gold blade on here. It is zero gap. And if you guys need to check out how to do your zero gap and just check out uh, right here, I'll put it right here. So here we go. I'm gonna curve this skin line a little bit. And uh, as I've talked about in all these other videos, there's a reason why I do this. And if you guys need to check out the video skin line positioning, I'll put that also right here. You guys can check it out when you're done. We're looking to put this line in. Look how fast and nice he's cut. These things cut close. And they're gentle too. They don't make redness on the skin, nothing. Before I go on, I want to use like my finger to just make sure that I got the same uh, around the ears especially, but I want to just take an extra second here and just make sure that I got this line really even because this is going to be the basis of the rest of my cut. So I'm using my mirror and uh, I'm looking for like if there's anything I can fix. Okay, so the whole principle of the system is I got this zero gap so that it cuts as close as possible to this electric shaver. This electric shaver is not going to have to do much work, so let's get it. I want to come as close as I can to that line, uh, but flick up and reduce pressure. Now if I create any areas of problems, I could just come down with it as well with the grain. That should soften that up a little bit and help that blend. This completes phase one. We got the skin done. We have the electric shaver, skin lines in, and we're setting ourselves up. So we're gonna move to phase two. That's clip over comb. So right now, I'm gonna connect these sides uh, into this top length. See the pinky? Using the pinky as like a like a brace to kind of keep me away from the head. My clipper's always in the closed position when I do this, too. Okay. You come a little bit closer each time. You're just following the shape of the head. but literally you hit one button and it's it's electric and it's just super soaker man it works all right so he wears all his hair slick back right so in this case I don't have to cut the bangs um, and even if I did it's not really gonna do anything because he's never gonna wear his hair like that so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cut that in with the rest of the system uh, so we're gonna begin in the center the Mohawk guideline and I'm gonna take off what I wanna take off. I'm making the decision to take like about a half inch right now, and I'm just gonna travel back with it. All right, now this is where the system gets super easy. We have our stationary Mohawk guideline in the center, and we're gonna just travel off to the edge with it. Boom, boom. So what's cool about this is you're actually working with two guidelines. I just worked in this little row, I'm gonna move to this side. Uh, on this side, coming off of my guideline, right? When I come off of one guideline, I know it's hard to see, but I could actually have the other uh, traveling guideline as well. Two guidelines. All right, we jump back over to this side. 
Make sure that you're directing the hair the right way, straight out from where it grows, 90 degrees. 90 degrees, you can take this comb, you can put it on the head any way you want, and that's 90 degrees. So as long as I'm holding this hair straight up from 90, uh, this whole thing's gonna come out even. It's gonna come out the right way. So that'll about do it for that side. Try to connect this side. Directing it forward a little bit, see how much hair I was able to find there. All right, now notice, I cut all of it horizontally. I'm gonna put it in this way. And I'm gonna cross check. I'm gonna cross check vertically. You will always find mistakes here, this is why I do this. You just cross check, and you'll be able to fix your mistakes. Through, clean those up. That's good. So, um, in this in this kind of special case, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna dry the top of his head because I want his hair to lay the way I want the way it's supposed to lay, uh, so that when we begin phase four of the blend, we're able to kind of get a better idea of where we're where we're blending it into. Got the XL blow dryer from Gamma. Uh, if you guys want to try this out, you could use my code Eddie. Save 10%. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna turn this all the way hot and all the way high. Blow dry it back. that cool button and that'll help set it into place. I'm hitting the cool button now. I'm gonna do the same thing in the back here. Real hot, hot as they can take it, and then hit it cool. Okay, I got the Rebel. Uh, the Gamma Rebel in the fully open position. It has a fusion blade on it. It will cut really close. And we're gonna cut a guideline about the width of our finger. the width of your pinky all the way around. Before we move on, let's make sure both sides are even. This is going to be one of the really big important foundations that you cut. And if it's good, we can move on to the next step. Number one, two clicks. Number one on, fully close it, and then bring it back. One, two. Two clicks. Let's go. Also, quickly, you're gonna notice his grain's really flying like this way. I try to stay against the grain the best I can in this, in this step. <laughs> Next step, one and one half. And you guessed it, one, two clicks. Is, uh, I'm gonna go back to clip rubber comb for a second and I'm just gonna adjust his silhouette because now that I've got like the connection here I just want to finish this connection off all right now that I can kind of see it a little better so I know I can cut this off and uh, I can make this look nice and even on both sides to some extent we'll finish it off with some shear over comb but I'm just looking at the sides and I'm just making sure nothing's sticking out Okay, we're gonna begin with this fully closed. That's gonna cut as close as possible. And we're gonna do the flick and click. Ready? Here we go, flick. Just that bottom line, the first line that you put in. All we're concentrating on is where you put that bottom line. Click, one click. 
Let it cut something. Next step, number one, and uh, we're gonna go two clicks. So fully close, one, two. All right, for the final step here, we're gonna put the half guard on and two clicks. Start this the same way, fully closed, no guard, flick and click. We're not going to jump to the half yet. We're going to go back to the one and we're just going to go two clicks. Feel free to move your one guard around a little bit if you have to. It's okay. Now we'll go to the half guard, two clicks. So this is the Apex, it has a taper blade on it, it's super forgiving, and uh, this is kind of what I use to kind of finish off the blend. If I see anything I don't like, this is a nice soft way to kind of make it perfect. I can't leave his beard like this, obviously. So I gotta show you guys real quick how to blend that in the skin so it looks good. All right, I got the Rebels. I'm gonna put them in the open position. And I'm actually gonna go down with the grain at first. And I'm just traveling from here to here. I know it's kind of hard to tell. Now I'm gonna come back, same thing, against the grain. Now, pay attention, because I'm only moving from about right here, right? Now I'm gonna begin closing it. I went about two clicks, and I'm gonna travel from here up. Three clicks, and when it's all the way closed, I'm just going to hit the top, all right? Well, that's pretty much just a, a basic, easy way 
uh, to make their beard look a little better with the haircut you gave them. It's time for the style. Since Johnny B sent me this really cool street cream, uh, I've been using this today. I actually really like it. and I, I think it's going to work perfect on him. So I'm going to put a little bit in my hands, break it up. A little bit of this actually goes a long way. Like I keep putting way too much weight. That's okay. Just because I have a lot in my hands doesn't mean it all has to go in there. I like this comb because it kind of clumps it up and just makes it look a little different. Some of these strokes, like you guys see me doing this one and I know, I know this one's like a scary stroke for a lot of you guys, but the length of this, this finger brace makes it super, just super easy. All right, you guys, hope you like the cut. I think it's a pretty cool, like modern, classic skin fade on that slick back. Kind of looks like one of the Ruzel models or something. Uh, but uh, awesome. Thank you, man, for letting me film, buddy. You didn't jump. <laughs> 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 I was thinking you were going to jump. <laughs>